I use a plastic material a lot in my spline works and I think that so far I have achieved pretty realistic plastic. So today I want to show you how to create a plastic material in spline app and we will have plastic material with light and without. So let's start. Delete the default rectangle and keep for now this directional light. We will need this light later, because first we will create a plastic material which will interact with the light. And I recommend you to use the light when you plan to export your scene as an image or video. If you plan to use your scene as a 3D web component, better from performance perspective. To have a material which don't need a light, but we will do a plastic without light source later in this video. Let's add an object to our scene, go to plus icon and select the bunny. Usually when I work with materials only, I use a bunny model, because the shape of this model is complex enough to show me how my material will look like and how it will work. So let's say that material on the simple sphere and uh, on a complex model like this may look different. Let's make our bunny bigger. Just hold Shift and Option if you have a Mac or Shift and Alt if you have a Windows and pull this box like this. Now go to the material section. First click on plus and add a new material, then switch the color to image. Now click on this icon and from the list here select the image with the grass. Yeah, now we will convert this image to the texture and grass will help us to create nice sharp surface. Here uh, let's scale down this image to 0.25. And now we can hide this image. We need this image here, but we don't need to see this green grass. Because now we will click on this slide icon. And here, be sure that you have a font type. And here, where we have a bump map section, select our grass image and set the intensity to minus 0.2. And set the lightning intensity here from 60 to 100. So it's actually a little detail, but I think that little details like that will help us to achieve a realistic result. So now we have not super glossy, but sharp plastic. Next, add a new material. Plus, switch color to matte cap. Click on this icon and here select this matte cap, matte cap roughness free. Then we just need these light parts. So go to this little icon, which is a blending mode and select screen. We're actually pretty close to the final result. We just need to set a color. So click here and set any color you want. But to make it more realistic, avoid super bright colors. Try to keep this pointer in this area, but actually you can do everything what you want. But I will continue with this blue. Our plastic model also need a proper environment. So let's say if, for example, we will have a white background, our plastic uh, should look real in this white space. So our model should interact with this environment. And in this case, the surface of the model should reflect part of the light. So select our bunny and go to the material section and add a new material. Fresnel and switch the blending mode to screen. So if you will have a different background, for example, like this, also set this color for Fresnel material and this way our object will look more natural in this environment. And the icing on the cake, deselect everything and here turn on the ambient shadow, so it will add the shadow where it should be. Our plastic material is ready, but as I said in the beginning of this video, in Spline you can have the model which don't need a light source, which is better from performance perspective, so uh, let me show you how to do it. First, delete the light. By the way, we still see our model because we have an ambient light in the project options and we have the Fresnel and Metcap layers above the lightning layer. So here we just need to set our lightning blending mode to overlay. Even if we don't have a light source in the scene, we still need the lightning material layer because of pump map we use. So this is it. Easy way to have a good looking plastic material. Now you can create any model and just copy paste this material and set any color if you want, 
but if you want to have a white plastic, do not select completely white color. Select light gray color like this. You can also continue experiment with different matcaps and with this image, which create a surface texture. So, hope you like this short tutorial. You can find the link to this project in the description and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Subscribe on my Twitter, uh, I mean X, subscribe on my X, Instagram and Spline community profile. And of course, enter also my upcoming Spline design course if you want to learn Spline app from the beginning. Thanks for watching.